Hey everybody, what's up? Chilidude27 here, bringing you my first Let's Interview. Today we have a very special guest, some guy that I've actually looked up to for quite a while and really inspired me to help make these videos. So, please introduce yourself. Well, after that stunning, I don't know what you call that, intro, this is Obi-Wan362. Yeah, you might recognize him. Um, he's actually not that popular, no offense. Don't take him. But, um, you know, he's pretty awesome. So I'm just going to go through a series of questions here that I've not written down nor thought about in any way, so I'm just going to wing it. That's always fun. Yeah, I know, right? Anyway, so, Obi-Wan, um, how'd you actually uh, think of your username? <laughs> well, you see, that's a really, really long story. But the short of it is, when I was in, like, grade school, someone was setting me up with an account for, a web, for one of those websites that we all used when we were, like, seven. And he knew I was big into Star Wars, and that's about all he knew. So he, he tried to give me Obi-Wan. Well, it was taken. And so he gave me those random, those few random choices, one of which was just adds 362 on the end for no apparent reason, and I've just used that username ever since for everything. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I, I really don't know what to say to that. I mean, you sound an awful lot like Chuck Conroy. See, I don't know how he got his name. I just, it was this, this weird moment of, like, okay, let me use your name. It fits, because Obi-Wan was... Obi-Wan is probably my favorite Jedi. I mean, obviously there's Yoda, who's fantastic, and if you get into the books, you get tons and tons more to look at. But, let's face it, Obi-Wan, played by Ewan McGregor, it's kind of hard to beat that. So, I mean, it was just one of those things of why, cha why mess with something with a good thing? Um... Well, just in case you're curious, Chuck Conroy says he got his username from actually Cartoon Network generated it for him. He um, put in some information and it was like a randomly generated username. But, um, yeah, that's actually pretty interesting. Okay, so uh, what was your biggest inspiration to first start making videos? Ironically, Chuck Conroy. Um, I remember I was playing, I forget what game I was playing, but I was... I was stuck on, I want to say it was Sunshine, but at the same time, I really don't want to admit being stuck on Sunshine. Um, oh, there's no, sh there's no shame in it. I mean, I remember when I was playing Sunshine. Uh, you know, I'll just tell you after we're done with this, I can still talk to you. Anyways, sorry, I, interrupt I interrupted you. I have a bad habit of doing that for any of you who watch my freaking videos. Yeah, 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 well... Anybody who's watching my videos can also attest the fact that I'm not the best on keeping on one train of thought either, so it doesn't really matter. But, I was playing some game, and I was like, I can't find... I might have been... It might have been when I finally decided to... 100% Spyro actually might be what it was. Because obviously Spyro was my first game that I did. And... There were... Something that I just couldn't find... Again, I wish I could remember what the game was... No! No, I lied. It was Wind Waker. It was Wind Waker. I had, like, I had played Wind Waker, and I'd never beaten it, and I was finally like, I'm going to beat this stupid game. I'm going to beat this stupid game. So, I went to GameStop, I picked up a used copy, and then I was completely lost. I was like, well, crap. Now what do I do? So, I started looking for walk... I just start I typed in looking for walkthroughs, and I found Let's Plays. I was like... This is awesome. Okay. Then I found Chuck Conroy. I'm like, okay, this is really, this is a lot of fun. I'm like, this could be really fun to do. So went out, got, got a capture card, and was like, I am doing Spyro. I love. Um, nope, you're good. And the rest has been what two and a half years now, I think. Um. Once again, I have this bad habit of interrupting people. I'm sorry. Um. I sounded like I was done. No, it's, it's really not your fault. What am I talking about? We are wasting the internet's time here. Um, well, uh, 
Okay, well, let me think of something. Okay, well, are there any Let's Plays you've had that you felt like, yeah, maybe they weren't the best, you know, like, you may be a little disappointed with how they turned out? <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, because I, I still get um, views and comments on my Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> and looking back at that, I'm like, why are you people still watching this? <laughs> uh, I, I haven't looked at Spyro since it happened, and I probably don't want to. <laughs> The one that the one that frustrates me the most is probably probably has to be my Halo Reach because it was the first HD game that I did, but I still only had my SD capture card, and so it looks like absolute crap. If you look at my most recent just update video, you see that I I recorded um, a bit from Halo Reach just to have something to talk over so people don't have to stare at a blank screen. And it was a nice HD. So you put that up against my old Halo Reach videos, it's 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 not pretty. So that again, I know graphics aren't the biggest thing. I mean I'm doing SD games now, but it's just that's one of those things that irks me a little bit because I'm like, oh this looks really, really awful. Well yeah, see I don't mind bad quality on videos. It's all about the commentary, but the thing is, like it's probably just a pet peeve of mine, but I can't stand like that little black space around a video. It makes me feel like my computer's gonna crash or something. I don't know. I'm just crazy. Um. Well, what are some LPs that you would like to do in the future? Well, I actually. I mean, I. I just uploaded a video today, which is odd since I'm usually only on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but. Being so busy, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know if I'll be able to upload next week. But I actually just posed a question to my viewers about there's a game I've been looking at, and I'm I'm trying to decide whether or not to do it because it's it's significantly more adult rated than anything I've ever done. Oof. And like I'm not like I I, I enjoy the fact that I am very u user friendly because I mean. Don't swear in videos. If I do, it's some kind of Star Wars expletive that it's kind of hard to yell at your kids for that. Um, don't abuse that. Don't do it. Those are mine. Um, but like there have been there have been a few games that I've kicked around doing, but this game that I just picked up, it's one that I'm looking at, and I'm just kind of like, I wish it wasn't so. Inundated with innuendo and language, so I'm just like, because the gameplay is fantastic, the story looks interesting. And I'm just like, I could really enjoy doing this game, but within the first cutscene, you guys have dropped the f bomb three times amongst other swearing. I'm like, that's and obviously you've watched, you've looked at my channel. That's not what kind of stuff you find on my channel. So. That game's been giving me some pause. I've had some people wanting me to do games that are a lot more common, that seems that most Let's Players have done, like Sunshine, or a Zelda game. And I'm definitely considering those. I think, like I'm not entirely sure, I really want to go back and finish the two projects that I started and because of technical difficulties didn't get to finish, which were Pokemon Yellow, and Knights of the Old Republic. So, those two I'd really like to go back and do. Well, wait, I thought your Knights of the Old Republic Let's Play was, like, finished. I mean, I've seen two playlists on your channel, you know, um, Light Side and Dark Side of the Force, so, like, what's the, what's the issue here? Well, that one just took... That one was just taking a lot more time because with that one being an actual full out walkthrough obviously Kingdom Hearts that I'm doing right now is is completely blind and so there's not any there's no prep for that it's all guess what I've never played this game before watch me try to figure out what I'm doing but oh with... god okay if I may let me offer you some advice oh boy <laughs> I started um, Kingdom Hearts, I've always wanted to do it, it is my favorite video game of all time, absolutely love it to death, you should try it as soon as you get done with regular Kingdom Hearts, 
Oddly enough, though, I can't stand the original, but I'll talk to you about that later, maybe. But before you start a Let's Play, look up just a little something about it. Like, for instance, how long the game is, because Kingdom Hearts 2 takes me, on average, about 28 hours of continuous gameplay to finish. And I didn't look up anything about Twilight Princess before I started doing it. And then, and then I saw Capri Sun's Let's Play of it. 120 episodes, oh god, what have I done? So, yeah, I've been doing that for like the past six months and I'm starting to get really sick of it, but it's going to be worth it when it's done, you know? Yeah, but I mean, that, that's the thing. The upside of Kingdom Hearts is you know, it's a game that, obviously, it's got a huge fan base already, and so I'd heard tons and tons of good things about it. So it was it was one of those things that I was like, and then it's full of Disney characters. And like, I grew up in the 90s. I love Disney. So it's one of those things of, as long as I'm not stuck on the same planet for an obnoxious amount of time, I think I'll be okay. Because, quite frankly, right now, the sooner I can get off of Tarzan's little planet, the better. Uh, huh. But, that was not comforting. But, but no, I mean, seriously, if I can just not be stuck on the same planet for too terribly long, then I can deal with a long game. Well, see, that's the thing that I think a lot of people like about Kingdom of Hearts. You know, it's constantly shifting. You're always doing something new. There's no tedious parts unless you feel like you have to grind because you're not good enough or something like that. You know, that's the big appeal. However, something interesting that I've recently noticed is that, okay, a lot of videos that I've seen, like, that belong to part of a playlist, such as a Let's Play or, like, an instructional video on how to make something... Every once in a while, you see that one video that has, like, 20 times more views than the rest. Like, yeah. I've no like I've noticed this in some of your videos, Scottish Ducks, and even mine. I remember, I made this one video, Ratchet and Clank, it was, like, part 27 or something, and I, you know, the subtitle was, like, hooray for iPad, because the guy in the game was holding something like an iPad. And for some reason, that video got A, around about 300 views, and B, this guy... Get this, he seriously commented, is this game available for iPad? Well, that's beautiful. Yeah. Brilliant, remarkable state of the human race right there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, don't, I don't want to offend this guy, you know, in case he's watching this, which he most likely isn't because I suck at making videos. Poor me. But anyway, getting off topic. Um... Well, what was the first video game you ever played? That's that's something interesting. Oh, the first video game I ever played. Gosh, I actually tried to think about this not that long ago. Cause it was it's one of those issues of trying to trace back. Gee, what was my first system? What did I have? And I'm I for the life of me can't remember the first proper video game system I had. I had. You know how, like, now they have those stupid Leapster things for kids so they can learn while playing video games and all that nonsense? There was, there was something like that, but it was, you plug it into your TV way back when, when, and I had one of those. Couldn't tell you for the life of me what it, what it was called, but it had, like, games with Sonic, and it had games with, yeah, yeah, it had games with Sonic, and it had games with Mickey, and it was... Quite frankly, I, I think it was called a Pico or something like that. But it, Oh, the it was, 90s. But yeah, it was one of those stupid learning things. But I think the first... I want to say the first one I ever played was... One of... Which... Wait, was it just Super Mario's that came with Duck... Was it Super Mario Bros. that came with, with Duck Hunt? It will okay. The cartridge was Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. It was Mario Bros. on the top and Duck Hunt on the bottom. You switch between the two. Yep, yeah, that I I want to say that that was the first game that I actually played. That was the first video game you ever played, Mario Duck Hunt. I pretty sure it was. That's pretty interesting. I don't know why, but for some reason there's like this collective on the internet of a bunch of people. The first video game they ever played was Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for Sega Genesis. Sega was, Sega was close behind. I remember remember we tried to, like, we had a yard at a flea marker or something. They tried to get me a Super Nintendo, and it didn't work. But 
then we ended up finding a Sega Genesis, and that one did work, and it came with Sonic. So, awesome. I mean, it, it, it's one of those things, it's, I don't know, Sega, Sega did good stuff. It's sad that they kind of fell off the gaming platform thing, but... Well, yeah, I mean, okay, I've looked it up, and I can't seem to find any information as to why exactly that happened. I mean, they were successful. The Dreamcast bombed. That's, that's what happened. What? what are, okay, either it's like a new thing on the internet that the Dreamcast is popular, but, like, have you ever seen Peanut Butter Gamer? E no, I, know, I, like, I know who he is, but I haven't watched any of his things. No, oh. no, I lied, because he does the... 10 crap. Yeah, the top 10 lists and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I've, I've watched a couple of those ones. But yeah, he made this like this whole series on a uh, Dreamcast and it had some really great games for it. Like I never understood why exactly the Dreamcast was such a bomb. I mean, you know, bad timing. Oh well, yeah, bad, I mean, bad timing and even though I had some great games, it was one of those it had some great games but it just wasn't enough. It like I think, it was like overflown with crappy games. Yeah, it was. It was one of those things. Like the great games came out towards the end of its life, if memory serves, and it was, it was just too little, too late. Ah. Uh, well, that sucks. But, which is sad because the Dreamcast was technically, I want to say, it was the best system of that generation, despite the fact that it just got overshadowed. Well, wait. The Dreamcast was in like early two thousands to two thousand five, right? Yeah, it was. It was it was the um, PS2 GameCube era, and PS2 just destroyed everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I grew up with the PS2. I absolutely love it. I mean, PS2 all the way. What can you really say? But um, hmm, other interesting things to talk about. We're already up to like 17 minutes, but I really do want to go farther. I mean, you're a really interesting guy to talk to. I try. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, just random curiosity question. How old are you? I am 22. That'll change here in a few days, so. Oh, sweet. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. Wii U as the early birthday present. Oh, yeah. See, I've actually looked up some trailers for new stuff on the Wii U. It's got some really great games coming out, like uh, Epic Mickey 2... They're making a new Zelda game, which I hear is supposed to be titled Symphony of the Goddess, but I'm not sure. And um, or an HD remake of Majora's Mask. It's pretty interesting. See, a lot of people have always have constantly... Like, there's been trailers before about that have always been, you know, fake for different remakes and stuff. So I'm, I'm really skeptical of the HD remake of Majora's Mask because I saw, I saw a trailer, but I saw it on YouTube from somebody else that posted it. And so, I would not, don't get me wrong, I would love to see that, because the trailer looked beautiful, but we'll see until the, I see it from, like, Nintendo, then, then I'll lose it. No, see, the thing is, I saw it, it was on the actual ZeldaDungeon.net website, it was full thing, and actually, the um, trailer was originally posted by IGN Entertainment from the E3, 20, ah, E3 2012, so it's legit, they're gonna make okay. it. Okay, yeah. in that case, then, that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine how some of the stuff's going to look in HD, because I've seen the art style, and it, it seems like it would just be kind of awkward, but, you know, they're going to pull it off. It's going to work. If anybody can pull it off, it'd be Nintendo, so. Now, I hear Nintendo's been on a lot of scrutiny lately. Like, all my friends, everyone keeps saying, oh, they're going to sell the rights to Pokemon, <laughs> and then Black and White 2 comes out in your face! I had not even heard that. Like, I, someone mentioned the other day, because obviously Disney just bought the rights to Star Wars. Oh, God. And, Please, yeah. don't don't say those words. Don't, don't, even, don't get me started, kid. I'm sorry. What is, what is my username? What is my username? I'm sorry. Bow before me, child. 